What's going on guys? Brandon Haverlo from Redmax Events. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another product spotlight where we're taking a look at two new fixtures from JMaz Lighting. These two fixtures are part of their Halo series, which is an eye candy effects lighting series. Particularly today, I have the Halo Q4 wash and the Halo Q4 strobe. I've got two of them up on display behind me showing you some of their built-in programs, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these two right here so you can see what's included with the lights. The first thing is the fixture itself. This one is the Q4 strobe. Also in the box, you're gonna find two cables. You'll have your PowerCon to Edison cable to power the lighting fixture, and you'll have a short DMX cable. And of course, your instruction manual. We're gonna go ahead and open up the Q4 wash. In this one, we'll have the Q4 wash fixture itself. Again, along with a DMX cable, a power cable, and your instruction manual. Now you'll notice both fixtures are very similar. They're both circular fixtures including the yoke attachment that is rounded. They're about 16 inches across. Without the yoke left to right, they're about 13 inches. You'll notice on the face of these, they're very similar. Obviously the wash has a few less diodes in it. The strobe has a few more, but we're gonna get into all the specifics shortly. Now taking a look at the backside of these fixtures, they have a three pin DMX in and DMX out on one side of the fixture. They also have a power con in and a power con through or a power con out on the other side of the fixture, which makes them easy to link if you're using multiple of them in a display. On the center, you have your LED screen, as well as your menu, your up, your down, and your enter button to navigate the built-in settings. Due to the design of the yoke and the mounting options, you can easily pivot the yoke straight back behind the display without interfering with any of the cable connections or the DMX connections, which allows you to come straight off of truss or pipe and base like I have here. But you can also mount them sideways coming off like that, like I have them here. So let's get into some of the specifics on these two fixtures. We'll start with the Halo Q4 strobe, which is this one right here. As I mentioned before, both of them offer some really stunning eye candy visual effects to add to your light show. The Q4, which means quad LED, that's what that stands for, is an RGBW diode, and the strobe features 921 of those surface mount LEDs. If you're not sure what SMD or surface mount LED means, it basically means it's a very bright fixture. These SMDs are similar diodes to the SMDs found on the JMaz FX Bar 5050, which I just had a video up recently, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll link to it up here or down in the comments, but make sure you check out that video. This is a very similar effect. The Q4 strobe has a 120 degree beam angle, which means, again, it's more of an eye candy effect. It's got a very wide beam angle, so you're not gonna use this to necessarily wash a stage or a band. You're gonna use it for an eye candy visual effect. This fixture does give you LED pixel zone control, which means you have access to the different zones within the fixture itself. When controlling this just with the menu on the back, you have your built-in shows. You can manually select different colors and brightnesses. It also includes built-in macros if you are using it with a computer software or an external controller like I have here. And the built-in auto shows can be set to sound active if you wanted to put these in a sound active mode. Now with that said, if you are running sound active, you can link multiple of these with DMX cables to put them in a master slave mode, which means if you have two of these in a master slave mode, they'll be doing the same thing at the same time. If you want a little more control than what's built into this, you can use an external controller or a DMX software to control these fixtures. And when you do that, you have six, nine, 36 and 41 channel mode that you can control this. Obviously six being the least amount of control, giving you access to the macros and your dimmer and your strobe and 41 channel mode, giving you access to all of those pixel zones. Lastly, the Q4 strobe comes in at about seven pounds, which makes it a very lightweight LED fixture if you're hanging them up on truss or going up on a ladder to rig them. Now the Halo Q4 wash, although also offering that visual eye candy effect like you see up here, can also be used as more of a wash to wash a stage or a wall or a floor out on a dance floor. Lots of applications if you're using this in a club, a bar, or on mobile events. 
This one features 90 two watt quad LEDs. Again, you have RGB and W. Although compared to the 120 degree beam angle on the strobe, this one has a 25 degree beam angle. It also gives you pixel zone control like the strobe, so you do have access to do cool eye candy chases and visuals. This has similar built-in macros and pre-programmed shows that can go to sound active. But again, if you want more control, this one can be controlled in your software using a six, nine, 20, or 25 channel mode. The dimensions of both fixtures are identical. They both take up the same amount of space. However, the Q4 wash is a little bit heavier. And when I say a little bit, it's just a pound heavier. So the Q4 wash comes in at eight pounds, whereas the strobe was seven pounds. These are some awesome eye candy visual effects lights to add to your rig and make you stand out from your competition. I'm super excited to add these to our shows. I'm excited to see what we could do with these along with our JMAZ effects bars and our other moving heads and lighting fixtures. I had the pleasure of visiting my friends at JMAZ Lighting at their headquarters in LA a few months ago. So I'm gonna insert some footage of their showroom here where you could see the Q4 wash and the Q4 strobe as part of their light show demo with their other lighting fixtures. If you guys are looking for more information on these fixtures, you can visit JMAZ Lighting's website. I'll have a link to it down in the description below. Also make sure you check them out on social media. They're doing some live videos and they're always posting new content. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Also make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Brandon Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.